Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. Uh, when last we left off, we just entered the uh, Dunwall Tower where the Lord Regent Hiram Burroughs is cowering in fear from us as we move in to assassinate him. Nick is with me once again. And, uh, um... Oh, God, sorry. I, sh I should mention that it was quite an epic struggle getting this part of the recorded for some reason. A lot of, techni lot of technical issues... So, as a result of that, the footage you're going to see here is actually stitched together from a couple different playthroughs. So if you notice any errors in continuity, like got, like me re-murdering guys I've already murdered, or whatever, that's why. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, here we are in the uh, little ventilation shaft from outside. Man-sized, as required by Dunwall safety regulations. That's a familiar voice. There are no reports of any disturbances, Lord Regent. I don't care. Double the guards anyway. Triple them. I'm sure everyone is doing what needs to be done. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. I'm heading up. <laughs> Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Uh, that's interesting right there, because apparently in uh, the Dishonored universe, they actually have, I mean, not terribly high quality, but they actually do have, like, real-time video. Yeah. In color, no less. That was, like, 1960s stuff for us, wasn't it? Oh, well, the first, no, the first color move film was, like, in the 30s or whatever. It wasn't until decades later that it was cost-effective to do it a lot. I thought, uh, color, uh live stream oh oh that's a good question i don't know well partly we don't that's a good i'm not sure actually and also i'm not sure when like closed circuit tv really became a thing hmm. but yeah that's some pretty advanced stuff relatively advanced stuff there and hell hell it looked a lot better than a lot of like online video chat now frankly better frame rate and all that but yeah Whale oil can do many things, I guess. But, okay. Now, this is an important difference between low chaos and high chaos. In low chaos, when they're talking, he mentions he's going to be in his bedroom, right? And what happens then is, if if you set off an alarm, he will then uh, withdraw up onto the rooftop in his, uh, you know, safe house. But if you sneak in, you can actually assassinate him just in his bedroom. He's just standing there, and you can pick him off. Whereas in high chaos... Whereas in High Chaos, because he's a lot more, you know, freaked out, he's already up here. I see. And here I'm taking an uncharacteristically non-violent little trip. Like I said, using your powers and such, you can just stealthily bamf your way past a lot of these dudes. We nip of courage. <laughs> and, okay, we're almost at the Lord Regent's little inner sanctum. You can hear the telltale clank clank of a tall boy walking around. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's a subtle game thing. Not a lot of games uh, make sound cues as unique to enemies as visual. Yeah, this game uses sound pretty well. Mm. I, in general, I have to say, like you're sneaking around and you know you hear a voice coming from somewhere and you and you know you, you know you go scurrying to hide. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, okay. Now, bam, bam, oh, look out, an overseer. He's got the music box. Oof. Yeah, you you don't want those music boxes to get going because you know we've seen what those do before. Right. I'll fuck you up. Yes, your roof fortifications are completely secure. Now, if you hang out, like, below him and listen to him, like, muttering to himself, he says quite a bit. Oh, that's another nice thing. He, if you kill that guy, he notices that the music is gone. They thought of a lot of little details, which is cool. Yeah, I like to think they, they uh, had a lot of design put into this area. Spring Razor. 
<laughs> Even just look at it in my hand, that just looks fucking horrifying. Oh, yeah. That's a, one of the less horrific Spring Razor kills I've seen, actually. Now, one of the ways you can kill the Lord Regent, which I unfortunately do not showcase here, is there's a wall of light upstairs guarding his the room he's actually in. You can reverse, you know, you can invert the wall of light by, you know, using a uh, rewiring tool on the controls. If you do that, then when you go in to confront him, as the fight begins with him, he takes a step back, which brings him into contact with the wall of light. So if you've rewired it, he just is incinerated on the spot. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And I've, in fact, I've actually, even though it would, it would be more advantageous to uh, rewire it, I've actually left it as is, simply so that I could actually, you can actually see the, the sword fight. Right. So you can see the, ki the kill. Because, you know, he gets his own specialty death animation. His is pretty brutal, I have to say. Yeah, he's just muttering about you. If you wait a while, you'll hear him talking about, like, uh, uh, Lady Boyle. Yeah, you can see how, like, you know, you've whittled down his supporters, and he's he's all alone now. He's freaking out. Mm. Oh, here I am. Yeah, he misses Lady Boyle. And remember, one thing I have from Lady Boyle's house is that skeleton key he left her. Right. So she could get in. I have that. See? And I'm in. For the love of them, how? How did you get to me? Why did you hide your face? Are you some phantom behind that mask? Here to punish me for my lack of perfection. What do you intend to do? I must know. Are you even capable of mercy? Confronting a silent protagonist is really freaking him out. Now you have option. You can remove your mask. Remember me, Hiram? Hmm. It's I, Reed Richards. Oh, wait. I... Remember when I told you about certain yeah. editing problems? Case in point. <laughs> uh. And this time I just... <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. See the guards come rushing in. It'd be nice to have the wall of light. Oh, here we go. The end of the Lord Regent's reign. Ow. Oof. You don't even kill him with the blade, actually. Crunch. Firing. And thus ends the reign of Hiram Burroughs. I like it when you if you kill the guy. Once, once the guy's dead, you know, he's no longer tagged as a a thing that can go through the wall of light. He's, you know, just a corpse. So if he's standing, like, in the wall of light, he'll disintegrate it right, right there. Oop. Losing support. Lord Regent. Since we've lost the financial support of the Boyle family, things are dire and we've had to make major cuts. The patrol boats stationed in the Renhaven around the tower have been redeployed to North Bank to protect the few food shipments still trickling in from the farmlands outside Dunwall. Sir, I'm warning you now. This means that the approach to the Dunwall Tower, this approach means the approach to the tower through the water lock is now exposed. It's unlikely that an attack would come from the river, but I know how you worry. Ironically, there's one thing working in our favor. Since the water lock malfunctioned last month, that idiot who maintains the moat flow controls hasn't been able to repair it, 
And with Sokolov missing, no one else is sure how to get the blaster thing working again. So anyone conducting an assault from the river would have to climb up the pipes in the water lock, which is hard to imagine. General Tobias. Remember, General Tobias is the guy downstairs. Right. Now that, that tall boy, he can't shoot me because the wall of light will intercept the shot. But I have to somehow get by. Still, which is tricky. But here's one way you can do it. And I'm out of here. There's actually, there's quite a view up here from the tower. This is actually part of the same area as, you know, the approach to the tower. So you can actually leap off the tower and end up, like, in the front, like, in front of it. Mm. Well, you'll probably die unless you time your blink properly. Right. And you can, like, guys from the first area, you can pick them off, like, from here if you got the, you know, long range. If you got the wrong range weapon, like a crossbow. Okay, so the crossbow would reach down there. Is there a significant, like, bullet, bullet drop? drop? I don't think so. I... That I accident. I think these. I think this is when I accident. Yeah, I, I, I unintentionally used the, the sleeping dart. <laughs> so, accidental mercy. No, as far as I've noticed, with the, at least not with the crossbow or the gun that I've noticed, there is with the incendiary crossbow bolts. Hmm. But with the uh, the regular ones, I not that I've noticed. You can do precision shooting from pretty far away. Here, in fact, I'm about to show you. Really big areas in this game. <laughs> oh, right in the ass! <laughs> and that really propelled him somehow. Million dollar wound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now back downstairs. And there's some of that some of that classic Markley editing. And here we are. The heart says some interesting stuff if you use it, if you actually point it at the Lord Regent. And it, as much as says that it is the Empress, I mean, it just, it, like, it recognizes him. Right. Oh, I believe that is General Tobias, I think. Yes, ah, yes, it is. There's just so many different ways I could kill him, I, it's hard to choose. You know, it's like a buffet. I'm really bad with these spring razors. That I'm not very like you really need to set them up beforehand. <laughs> but there's Tobias. Or well there's most of Tobias. One of his legs seems to have gone elsewhere. Maybe it went flying over the side. Now, this is a nice big open area. You can, like, get, you can, like, sneak around a lot in there because you can, like, blink from the chandeliers. Also, this, uh, pi that piano in the other room, you right. can break that. You don't see it here, but, like, I, when I was just screwing around with the wind blast power, I chucked a guy over the piano with it, and the top, like, lid broke off. <laughs> nice. You can also, like, like, play it. I mean, you can hit it, and it'll make notes. You can't... There's no, like, full... You can't, act, like, play a song or anything. Oh, I was gonna say, it would be no. pretty cool if they, uh, had, like, a scale of notes. <laughs> no, that's what I would. Tor see, torturer's chambers? You may recall we found that note about the guy who tortured us in Coldridge Prison way back when. He's here. Ah. We might pay him a visit, perhaps. This is me trying to set his body on fire. It didn't seem to work. Sadly. 